Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Flagging a message for yourself will create a to-do item that reminds you to follow up the message. Once it has been completed, you can then mark the task as completed and clear the flag. When you flag a message, Outlook will place a little flag icon next to the messages that require some type of follow-up and will specify any action required to complete the follow-up. These can be a handy way to indicate messages that need to be followed up with some other type of task. You can flag both messages that you send to others and you can also flag messages that you receive. To flag a message that you have received for follow-up, open the inbox folder and select the message to be flagged for follow-up. If you're using Outlook 2013 through 2010, then click the follow-up button that appears in the tags button group on the home tab in the ribbon. If using Outlook 2007, select actions and follow up from the menu bar. In the menu that appears, you can then select the type of flag to apply to the message. In Outlook 2013, you can use the new quick clicks within the inbox to also flag a message. To do this, hold your mouse pointer over the message within the inbox. You will see a small icon of a flag appear in the upper right corner of the message window. You can then click the flag icon to flag the message. For more advanced flagging options, you may right click the icon of the flag to choose when to set the flag to follow up from a drop down list of choices. To flag a message that you are sending to someone, you can create the mail message as normal. Then click the follow up button that appears in the Tags button group called the Options button group in 2007 on the Message tab within the actual window of the email. Select the Custom command called the Flag for Recipients command from the drop down menu. That will open the Custom dialog box. Here you can flag the message for yourself by checking the Flag for Me checkbox. If you do that, then click the drop down arrow next to the Flag To text box to select a type of follow up to occur for this message. You can also set a start date and a due date for the flag by clicking the drop down arrows to the right of the Start Date and Due Date text boxes and then selecting the desired dates to use from the calendar displays. You can also create a reminder for yourself by checking the Reminder checkbox and then selecting the desired time at which you want the reminder to appear in Outlook. To flag the message for the recipient, check the Flag for Recipients checkbox. Then use the Flag to drop-down and Reminder checkbox to flag and set a reminder for the recipients of the message. You can then click the OK button when you're finished to set the flag for the message and return to the message window. Then send it as normal. Later, to indicate that you did follow up with a message as requested, you can mark the flag as cleared in Outlook by simply clicking the icon of the flag that appears at the right end of the flagged message in your inbox to set it as a check mark. That will also remove it from your to-do list. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.